Hello students, this is Coach Holiday again and in this lesson we're going to translate verbal phrases into inequalities. We've already done this with um, equations and now we're going to uh, translate them into inequalities. And before we go into the examples, i got a table up here that I want you to look at. It's got the symbols, the inequality symbols in the first column, what those symbols mean in the second column, and then some associated words um, that might tell you that we're looking at that symbol, okay? So look at these real quick. The first one you have is the less than, all right? And we associate the words fewer than with that. So if you see fewer than in a word problem, you're probably talking about less than. Um, the next one is less than or equal to, and we see terms such as at most and no more than. Those tell you that we're talking about less than or equal to. The third one is greater than, and we typically associate the phrase more than with that one. And then also we have greater than or equal to, and that comes out as at least and no less than. If we see those uh, phrases in a word problem, we're talking about greater than or equal to, okay? There's more associated words than just these phrases, but uh, these are the ones that I want you to be familiar with, okay? Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and use this information to help us get started on working the examples. Example one says to translate, uh, to write, evaluate, and graph the following inequality. It says six increased by twice a number is no more than 20. So I'm gonna take the approach like I did with the equations, and I'm just gonna start at the beginning of my sentence and work through it, okay? Now the first important word I have is six. That just tells me the number six. Increased by that tells me I'm going to add. Increase by means add. Twice means I'm going to do two times whatever comes after that. A number, I don't know what the number is, so I'm going to let that be my variable, is no more than, okay, is no more than, that means it has to be less than or equal to. Let's look back at our chart that we looked at just a moment. No more than tells us less than or equal to. No more than is less than or equal to. Okay, so we'll use that will be our inequality. So no more than is less than or equal to and then we say 20. So we have our inequality here. Now we're going to go ahead and set, I'll go ahead and set it up as 6 plus 2x is less than or equal to 20. And now we're going to solve this and then graph it. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this. I'm going to draw my line down through my inequality, circle my variable, make our zero pairs first, so I have to subtract 6 from both sides. And that makes a zero pair, it goes away. And I'm left with 2x is less than or equal to 20 minus 6 is 14. And my last step is to divide both sides by 2. Now, since I divided by a positive number, I do not need to flip my inequality. So it'll be 1x is less than or equal to 7. Now I'll go over to my number line, and I'm going to make this 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Make this one 7 and x is less than or equal to 7 so since it's got the equal in it I'm gonna make the solid dot and I'm gonna shade to the left because to the left is less than or equal to and I'm gonna draw my picture that way okay now I can check this by plugging in a number down here so I'm gonna plug 0 is a solution it's in the shaded area and I'm gonna plug in 0 in there so I can say 6 plus 2 times 0 is less than or equal to 20. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 6 is just 6. 6 is less than or equal to 20. That's a true statement, so it appears that I did this right. Now we're working on to example 2. 3 times some number decreased by 5 is no less than 16. So take just a moment and see if you can set up the inequality for this and uh, restart the video after you take, uh, take a shot at doing that.
Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, write the inequality. It says three times, so it's three times some number, don't know the number, so three times x decreased by, that means to subtract five, five is no less than, means greater than or equal to, let's go back to that chart, uh, no less than means greater than or equal to sixteen. There's our sixteen. So I'm going to write this inequality out as three x minus five is greater than or equal to sixteen. Now pause the video and go ahead and solve this inequality and graph it. Come back and check how you did. Okay, hopefully you got the same answers I did, that x is greater than or equal to 7. If you didn't, you can go through and check and see how you did. Uh, we uh, added 5 to both sides, then divided by 3. We did not need to flip the inequality because that was a positive. So when I divide by positive, means that I just leave the inequality the way it was. And then I graphed it. The solutions are greater than or equal to 7, so since it's got an equal, I include a solid dot and greater than would be to the right of that, okay? All right, so uh, that's it for this lesson. If there's any questions, anything you need to go back over, then uh, please don't hesitate to rewind this video and go back and do that. I hope you took great notes and uh, you're prepared to do this when you come to class tomorrow. Uh, complete the WISC and we'll see you then.